There is a reason why relationships can have challenges, and today I am going to explain why. My name is Dr. Jacqueline, and I'm going to tune your biofill to have healthy, harmonious relationships. In the biofilm tuning video I did called Calm Your Nervous System, I talked about how being in a sympathetic state way too often is not good for your health. So what about those people in your life that are causing your nervous system to be out of control? The other day, my husband had an issue with one of our family members and he felt his heart racing and he actually felt not good the next day. Has that ever happened to you with any of your relationships? Some of you might be thinking, my gosh, I have a bunch of relationships like that. Or maybe most of your relationships are great and there's just that one particular relationship and you love them to death, but it's very difficult to be around. So today we are going to talk about that. What is happening in your biofield that is intersecting with their biofield? So hang tight, we're gonna to get to that in just a second. I wanted to mention how the reason why relationships are a big deal is because why are we trying to get healthy in the first place? Well, at the end of the tunnel, we wanna be happy. And obviously there's different things in between. There's having enough money, being able to spend time with your family, etc. But at the end of the day, we're doing all these things because we want to be happy. And what I found in my research in creating this abundance frequency biofilm tuning program, that the happiest people are the people with the greatest relationships. So don't you think that this is a big deal to make sure that we have healthy relationships? And the fact that it also affects our health is even a greater deal. So the people that live the longest have the healthiest, most harmonious relationships. Oxytocin is a hormone that the hypothalamus in your brain secretes, and it's often called the love hormone. So there's literally a physical reaction to our body when we are in love or when we love each other. This doesn't have to be just a love relationship between a man and a woman or um, a husband and a wife, etc. It's with friends, it's with family oxytocin is produced and this is why you need oxytocin. Oxytocin acts on the central nervous system to reduce stress and anxiety. It also helps to lower cortisol which is also produced when you're stressed. Oxytocin also improves your sleep quality by promoting relaxation. It helps to reduce blood pressure and increase blood flow therefore helping your cardiovascular system. It improves your immune system therefore helping you to fight off infections and lastly, it helps with pain relief. So those headaches and migraines and other pain that people have, this is why you need oxytocin. Well, oxytocin helps to decrease stress, it helps to build a level of trust in your relationships. Oxytocin is boosted when there's physical touch that's appropriate, such as hugging, cuddling, a tap on the back. It is also boosted when there's happy social interactions. That's why fellowship is so important with the right people. Have you ever been going through a rough time and someone has shown you empathy and support and you found that your stress actually was lowered after? Well, that's because oxytocin is boosted. So you might be wondering at this point, how do I decrease stress between someone that I love? We love each other, but we just can't seem to get over some big things that seem to be actually little things. Well, the answer lies in your biofield and this is what's going on. So. When we tune the couple, if the throat chakra comes up, for example, the person that is having an issue on this side, so we have the left side, that which is unexpressed, so emotions that they might not be expressing, is one person. And the other person, it's intersecting with the other side, speaking but not being heard, arguing. So one person might have trauma in this side of the field that is literally intersecting with the other person's on this side of the field. Imagine if you are facing the other person and this side, the left side and the right side are hitting each other and your traumas are, are having some tension. That's literally what's going on. So what we're going to do today is I want you to imagine that person that you would like to have some healing with and we are going to tune the space in between. When there is stress in a relationship, the heart tends to race. So before we get started on this tuning session, I want you to put Vibrant Blue's heart oil right on top of your heart. This is going to help not only improve the quality of your heart, so your cardiovascular system, the oxygenation in your blood, your immune system, your blood pressure, and just love in general. 
we want to have more love in the middle of the relationship so that it pushes out any excess tension between the two of you. So go ahead and relax and we're going to get started. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. So today we are working on the heart chakra. That's what came up to be harmonized. And we're going to be working on the space, as I mentioned, in between you and another person that you want to have healing with. So I want you to go ahead and take a deep breath in. And bring that person to mind. They might even be with you right now. If you want, you can face them. And imagine that space in between your heart, this area right here, is being tuned. So person A, we're seeing that they're having a little bit of a challenge with ignoring their own needs, over accommodating, not being able to say no. And this may be something that's a challenge now, but it might be something that was a challenge in the past. Could have been some big trauma that you've gone through. Could have been something that was passed down from generation to generation or all of the above. I want you to go ahead and take a deep breath in and breathe out. So person B is experiencing sadness, grief, and loss. As these emotions are coming to the surface to be expressed, let them come out. And that can look like various different things. You might find that your body needs to move. You might find that you need to deep breathe. You might find that you need to shake in some way. Let the emotion be stirred up so it can come out and be fully digested. You might find that you are even crying. The only way out is through. And you can also find that you don't have any of this. That doesn't mean that this work is not working. People experience emotions in various different ways and nothing is right or wrong. So as we're tuning the space in between, we're really setting the intention to have a healthier relationship, more of an oxytocin boost, more trust, more love flowing between the two of you. You might find that there's already love there, but something seems to be getting in the way of being able to fully trust that other person with your heart. Take a deep breath in. And if there's something that comes to mind of a reason why you don't feel like you can fully trust that person, Don't you see your body fully digesting that emotion around that reason, letting it go? What would it feel?
feel like right now in your body to fully trust that person that you're thinking about, that we're tuning the space in between for a healthier, harmonious relationship. Healthy relationships really start with a healthy relationship with ourself. And healthy relationship with ourself starts with a healthy relationship with God. The more that we can fully understand how much God loves us, the more that we can find that we love ourselves, love ourselves to make the space to take care of ourselves, our, our, our needs. When we have our needs met, physically, emotionally, spiritually, It's much easier for love to pour out. Some of this might come from changing our words. You might not feel loved, but you really are loved. So let's take a moment, and whether you feel loved or not, I want you to say, I am so happy and grateful that I am fully loved. Jesus Christ dying on the cross was a sign that you are loved. He died to set you free. He died so you can know the Father's love. So I want you to own that right now. There is a God in heaven that loves you. Take a deep breath in and let that love frequency fully radiate your entire being, every single cell. Let the God love frequency just penetrate every single mitochondria Every cell, every single piece of your being is lit up with love. How does that make you feel? Go ahead and release any grief that you and that person may have had. Any sadness over this relationship having some turmoil? I want you to thank God that that is a thing of the past right now. Let's see the future. How does it look to take a step up in your relationship? What would it look like to have more love flowing between the two of you? A deeper connection. Right now, I see you hugging that person. Even if it's just an energetic hug. Imagine yourself hugging that person. Right now, I see angels wrapping their wings around this relationship. (sighs) 
you are safe and you're secure. Your emotions are very valid. to say no in your life so you can make more room for this relationship to be healthier and more harmonious. There may be tough conversations that need to be said, need to be had. Imagine you two having those conversations And the peace of God is raining through. We're going to use this rose quartz in your field in between the two of you. And we're going to put the Schumann resonance at the 12th harmonic on top of it. So take a deep breath in. seeing water calming a flame between the two of you. Wherever there was some deep tension and strife, I see you two working it out for good. God loves relationships. He is a relationship, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So let's imagine again, as you take a deep breath in, what it looks like to have a breakthrough in your relationship. More time spent together, that might be the answer. Really understanding each other's love language is so important. If somebody needs quality time, they're not going to feel very loved if they don't get that. Some people need words of affirmation. You might want to consider reading the book, The Five Love Languages from Gary Chapman to figure this out. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. More love. Right now, like a waterfall, I'm seeing love going through the top of your head, flowing through your heart toward each other. And right now, we're going to put the frequencies we harmonize right back into your heart. See that relationship strengthening. It's not hopeless. Right now it's being restored. So just thank God that there's restoration happening right now. We're going to connect your hearts to the present moment, the will of God.
And we're going to tie your relationship up now in the rainbow light cocoon. I declare peace in the name of Jesus, complete healing and restoration, letting go of things of the past that no longer serve your relationship. Just shut those doors and keep your eyes focused in the future. God has a beautiful plan for this relationship. So just keep trusting in that and keep moving forward. Amen. Thank you so much for tuning in to this session today. And I really pray that there's some profound breakthrough in this relationship that you had an intention on healing. Just so you know, sometimes before things get better, as the emotions are being fully digested between the two of you, you may potentially find that there could be a little bit or a lot of bit of conflict. Now, this is not a bad thing. This is because you're actually fully digesting the experiences that were causing conflict to the first place in your biofield. So let that come to pass. Give yourself some space if you need to and just trust in the process and everything's gonna get much better as you go through these tunings. Please let me know in the comments below what happened. How did you feel during the session? What happened in your relationship? And you might find that stuff happens instantly and sometimes in this work it takes time so just keep paying attention no matter when the result happens i know something is shifting for you and even if it's years down the road i'd love to hear from you so take care god bless and lastly if you want to learn more about how we can one-on-one -on -one tune your relationships or even groups see the emotional wellness cleanse link below and i will see you in the next video